I always want to return to the Thailand and this time I think it was great reason to go back and film a new video. The place always feels magical with the people inside of it, the beautiful nature. And I was super down to go there, work on a new piece. First stop of the project is Chiang Mai, which is all the way up in north of Thailand. Now when I look back, it's probably one of the places I enjoyed most. For me, it was very simple to feel like uh, I'm in the right place. The traffic, the cities, the, the people mentality, it's all like 100% different from what I've experienced being like in Europe, but uh, in a good way. You can feel accepted right away and truly enjoy. <laughs> what up I born him? Mango, sticky, rice, hey. Boy. I think people around the world know him as Note. He's a local. He comes out from Thailand. He's an amazing skater. Everyone who's met him before knows. Wow. You can truly enjoy time spent with him, and it's just simple. And he was just the perfect match for our crew. I couldn't imagine the trip without him. <laughs> I feel I've grown, like mentally, emotionally. Most changing points have been some crazy injuries I went through in like the past five years, but they shaped me for good and uh, I kind of still focus on the same thing, the same goal to enjoy skating, but I think different mindset, which brings more appreciation of my health, I have a more clear vision of what I want to achieve and know my priorities which is for now, stay healthy, less stupid things, and keep skating. Ready to fight? Always. Pop, pop, pow! Okay. Let's go. Oh. Let's try again. <laughs> yeah, another productive day in Chiang Mai. Evening comes and we know we need to move on. We get into the night bus, which leaves in the evening and we're supposed to ride all night. Almost sleeping, I think, and then I think it's 1 a.m. in the morning. The bus driver gets everybody up and says, hey, it's a, it's a food break, and we're kind of just waking up, everybody's tired, and you, you get out of the bus, and uh, there's a big food court, and it's just like a buffet. Go, go eat as much as you can. But then we get back into the bus, a couple hours sleep, and sunrise comes with a new location right people by our side and I know it's going to be a successful day. So here we are just around the corner from our hotel. This perfect video game style. Back to perfect marble ledge. Never scared anything like this. And uh, let's try to do the best. Back in the day, I wouldn't even care what I put in, inside of my body. I would eat anything, burgers, fast food, whatever. With some turning points, I started asking different questions to myself, started to get into the more healthy lifestyle because it made sense. I want to feel good. I want to be able to skate, have good energy. And now I can say I'm on a vegan diet for almost like two years soon. It gives me all my energy. I feel as light as possible. And uh, I think that's why Thailand was a great place to go and experience its diversity of uh, plants, uh, fruits, and vegetables. Welcome to Steel Festival in Kangen, Thailand. Street food festival. We had like 20 new snacks, dishes that night. And uh, we were led by locals. And we we're just going through and trying everything that looks attracting, you know? Because everything was new, nothing you'll see in Europe or anywhere else. So many flavors, so many addings to put in. 
and the same time sweets. So much for one night. This is like super sticky rice. And actually, it's not like a touristic city, and but it was just like being with the locals in this local food festival. So it was a, a perfect uh, experience. Yeah. First week was uh, done. We had already clips. We had amazing experience. The weather was fantastic, and uh, I was just really looking forward to what's ahead of us because every single day was it's been amazing so far. I think Sorry. those are one of the first amazing words I said here. <laughs> Stands, hold hands and someday you will be asked to write a poem and what will you do? Well, all I know is that life is cruel.